Hey there, it's Tara Milo here. And if we're friends over on Facebook on my like personal Facebook page, you'll know I've been talking a lot about like sustainability and environmental stuff. I'm really passionate about that. It's actually how I got into technology stuff. But anyway, I've been also talking about ways that we can give different kinds of gifts this year for the holidays. And it's part of like taking back our economy, but it's also part of just being more environmentally sustainable and responsible and just having different kinds of gifts, new things like buying fair trade and buying locally, um, stuff that's made in the U.S. or made in your, you know, your own country so it's not sending jobs to other countries, whatever, um, and buying more experiences for people. So every year, my cousins, my husband's cousins, like their side of the family, they all exchange cooking classes. So they buy each other a gift certificate to a cooking class or a trip on the railroad or something like that. So just fun experiences that they get to have together. Really cool stuff. <clears throat> so the other day, um, somebody came to me, it was a couple weeks ago, um, this woman, Angela, came to me with a really cool idea. She and I met in the 30 day light it up video challenge that I've been talking about forever because I love that video challenge. Um, but we met in there and she's a storyteller. Her business is actually going to people's homes, going to parties and telling stories and singing songs. It's so cool. I had no idea this was a business. It is awesome. So that's what she does. And she came to me because she has a unique idea for Christmas or for a gift of whatever kind, okay? Her offering is an advent calendar. It's like a video advent calendar, an advent calendar of stories. So when people buy this advent calendar, they buy her program, they get a video every day with a story or a song from her. And it's like traditional stories. And so she came to me with this idea and I was like, oh my gosh, I have never heard of this. This is so cool. What a unique idea. So I said, I'm going to tell you the strategy, what I think you should do to launch this. And you can just do it. If you want my help, I would be happy to help you. And that's kind of what I do in the strategy sessions. I'm like, look, step one, two, three, do it. If you want to do it yourself, you can. If you want to save a ton of time, we can do it together. So she said yes, she wants you to do it with me. So we booked one session together, one personal webinar. So I was logged into her website and we were talking on the phone so she could see my screen. And during this webinar, we, during her session, we created um, the sales page and it's really a magical process and I, I can't even, I don't know how this happens, but it happens every time. So I'm working with a client and she's just telling me about her program. You know, why did you create this? Who is this for? She's just kind of letting it all flow and I just type it out and then we have a sales page and it's done and we kind of fill in some holes and you know, make some little tweaks and stuff here and there, decide on a price. We created a PayPal button. We created a graphic using PicMonkey threw it all together, sales page is done. And then for her funnel, kind of to lead people to the sales page and lead people to the offering, um, I suggested making some teaser videos. So she made like three or four teaser videos where she gives people a story. She tells a story on video. So they get to see what that experience will be like. So it's kind of like a food cleanse, right? Where you maybe your teaser is like a three-day eating plan or a five-day smoothie challenge or some kind of free taste that gives them a little a little taste of what your, your offering is going to be. So it was the same with the stories. Give them three or four stories via video and they'll get to see what this advent calendar is going to look like and feel like and what they're going to experience when they buy the full program. And we kind of played with the idea, should we have an opt-in so she can collect email addresses and she just wanted to keep it simple and really shareable and that's the thing about video is you get to connect to people really well um, so you don't necessarily have to have an opt-in in order to have a sales funnel when you use videos in your business 
So that's what I suggested, you know, have some teaser videos and send them to the sales page. So she's done that. That's such a cool launch funnel, right? It's super simple. Like you really don't have to put a lot more into it than that. And she's already creating videos. She's used to that medium. So she just did it. And she created these videos. She's been kind of sprinkling them throughout the week. So she started on Thanksgiving, maybe a day before Thanksgiving. And she's just been sprinkling these little teaser videos. And then the advent calendar starts on December 1st. So she's delivering. That's another piece, right, of your, your sales process is how you launch it and the sales page. And then how do you actually deliver the product? So again, we kind of bounce some ideas back and forth, but we decided um, that she's going to create a private Facebook group and everybody who buys the program will join the Facebook group and that's where the videos will be delivered. And to deliver the product, she has the private Facebook group and then she's going to email people every day of December and she scheduled those emails to go every day in December. And that's kind of the stinky part is scheduling all those emails, but I... I'm very um, kind of passionate about that because people are busy and they're forgetful and I think you're really doing them a service to take that extra time and take that extra step and create those emails and you can do it all at once and just schedule them to go out and do it while you're watching a movie or something where you just sit down and just plug it out. Maybe listen to a podcast, uh, something like that. So that's it. We had the funnel, the sales page, and delivery. She set it, all, set it all up and she's good to go. And the cool thing is we set this up for her together, but she also learned how to use her website. She didn't know how to use her website before. Her developer has kind of locked it down, which she feels good about, um, but she didn't know how to edit sales pages or you know stuff like that. So it's really empowering for her to have that session with me because she learned how to do this stuff for herself. And that was awesome and and just she kind of discovered a strategy in a way of launching products that was cool and we put that all together together <laughs> so that was awesome so I want you to think about how can you do something like this in your business how can you simplify the launch process for yourself and still deliver a high quality you know high quality experience for your customers. How can you make this really simple and elegant and, and magical for you and for them? It doesn't have to be that complicated. So um, check that out. I've actually linked to her videos down below. Yeah, so you can watch her videos and kind of get a taste for how she does her storytelling because it's really cool. She's a better storyteller than I am. <laughs> but that's her job, right? And my job is computer girl. Okay, so think about how you can do that. Maybe type your answers down below. And if you liked this, please share it with your friends so they can see her stories because they're pretty magical. Comment down below and I'll see you soon.